Hey everyone, wanted to make a really quick video showing you how to bulk edit products as well as product variants in Shopify. So to start, go ahead and go to your Shopify admin and then on the left hand side, click on products and it will bring you to this products table here. Go ahead and select the products that you'd like to bulk edit. Oops, I didn't mean to click into that. So I'm gonna go ahead and select say these top four or five and then I'm going to press the bulk edit button here on the right hand side. You can actually also edit um, some fields such as tags um, or like include in markets, for example, from this drop down dot dot dot. Um, and I'll show you some, some more info on that in product variants because it's a bit more useful there. But if you want to bring up a spreadsheet looking page where you can actually just edit the fields, um, for example, if I want to change the price of all of these uh, non gift card products to, let's say $1,000, I can go ahead and do that by selecting them all like I would in a spreadsheet, uh, setting it to 1,000 and pressing save. and I've now bulk edited those products um, and you can do that again with any fields that you'd like. So now for product variants, go ahead and head to the product details page of a product that has variants. Um, in this case, I know the screen product does. So I can scroll down and I have four variants, uh, green and blue for both small and large. So I'm gonna select the variants I'd like to bulk edit. In this case, I'm just going to select all of them. And here's where that dot, 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 more actions button is. Um, that's a little bit more useful. So from here, you can edit prices, quantities, SKUs, um, all these fields that you can see here. And this way you don't have to click into the bulk edit. It can be somewhat useful. Um, but if you wanna click into that bulk edit page, go ahead and press the bulk edit button right next to it. And there's a few options here for you to uh, edit. And if you open up columns here, you can see there's a few more columns as well you can add. Um, so if you wanna edit the compare at price, cost per item, et cetera, then you can go ahead and add those columns, edit those. So if I want to not charge taxes on any products, I'll deselect all of them and I'll press save. And then I have bulk edit the variants. So I hope that video helped. If it did, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.